What is going on guys? Joey Franzo here with Flex Training Systems. Today we're going to be talking about soft touch or sinking in the bench press. Um, maybe I can help you decide which one is best for you. I recommend trying both of these. Um, so let's get right into it. What is the soft touch um, or the, uh, I guess you could call it a t-shirt touch. And basically, uh, that is when you are bringing the bar down and minimally touching your chest with the bar uh, in order to get a press command and then pressing up. Um, the other kind of bench press, the way that I like to do it, for me personally, this is me personally and the way that I'm built, um, I like to lower the bar down into my chest, kind of let it compress a little bit, let that, act, that weight on the bar like dig into me. Uh, I feel this lets me uh, hold the bar for a very long time uh, on my chest. So if I get a judge that makes me long pause, I'm going to be good to go. It also gives me a lot of control. Then, you know, they press, they give the press command, uh, and then I fire off the chest. Um, I like doing it this way uh, for me personally because I feel that not only am I pressing with my arms and my hands, my pecs, shoulders, triceps, etc., um, but my rib cage, which is being compressed, is is uh, already relieving some of that weight uh, off of my um, my arms, my hands. So let's say I have 400 pounds on the bar. My chest might be, you know, taking off 135 pounds of that, maybe more, and I'm only pausing 250. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? So it makes the kind of bottom part a little bit easier for me. Um, then you fire up, and you're good to go. Uh, there are pros and cons to each, but I think what you decide to do is not gonna really be um like what's best for you isn't gonna really be your choice it's just gonna be the way that you're built right so it's gonna be your genetics it's almost like it's predetermined i will say that if you can bench with a soft touch um you you might be able to do both uh and you can play with it and decide which one you like best but if you can get a big arch and really reduce your range of motion then i think having a wide grip and just kind of barely tapping on your chest um, is going to allow you to lift a ton of weight uh, under control better than uh, if you were to sink into your chest. Um, so one way to kind of decide which one is best for you is when you are, when the bar is on your chest, if your humerus and your forearm, so your arm, right? If it's at a 90 degree uh, in the bottom, um, and you are, let's say we'll go index on ring just to make this easier, uh, then you're gonna probably not, you're not really gonna be able to do a soft touch. You might be able to, but typically the soft touch works really, really well for people that have a big arch and they're able to pause the bar on their chest. So you can touch your chest with the bar and your arm is, uh, so outside of 100, or, or sorry, outside of 90 degrees, right? Um, so it's almost like a, uh, um, I don't know if I had to give you like degrees, like we're talking like one, 110, maybe something like that. Uh, it's outside of 90 degrees and, uh, this way it's almost like you're doing a partial or a block pull. Um, obviously we're talking about bench press here, but you're, you don't really have to go that full range of motion. It's not like the squat where you have no choice, but to go down a certain amount on the bench, there's no, uh, requirement for that. So if you can kind of manipulate your grip, to reduce your range of motion and do the least amount of work possible to lift the most weight, right? It's all about finding mechanical advantage. Um, then that might be something for you to try. Uh, when you really get it down, um, you're going to, one, not only be able to handle a ton of volume because you're doing a partial range of motion, right? So if you think of a close grip bench, um, you're coming all the way down. You're like, you know, getting a full range of motion and you're pressing all the way up. You're going to tear a lot of muscle fibers, uh, it's not a bad tear, it's just like micro tears, you know, normal training micro tears. Um, you're gonna tear more doing that, you know, a close grip or like flat dumbbell press, for example, than you would doing any kind of lift in a partial range of motion. Um, so when you're, do, when you're benching with max grip, uh, soft touching, you're gonna probably be able to bench three, four, five times a week. Uh, I have guys benching six times a week, it just depends, you have to, uh, you know, you can work up to that, but you'll usually finish your session like 
you know, not nearly as beat up as you would if you're, um, you know, someone that benches with a closer grip or you have a wide, you have as wide as legal grip as you can possibly have, but you just have really long arms. Um, for me personally, if I bring my grip all the way out, I'm, I'm still, um, you know, my elbows are still pretty bent, so I'm not going to be able to have that control uh, as as much as someone who's going to have their arm pretty much like almost locked out when they're touching their chest. Um, that's the main thing. If you're paused on your chest and you're pretty much close to lockout already with your like in regards to how close or open your elbow is, then um, you know you're going to probably be better with a wide grip soft touching than you are sinking um with me even if i'm at index on ring i'm still i'm still getting a decent amount of range of motion um you know some people might say otherwise but uh i doesn't feel good for me to soft touch uh, and i feel very weak doing that and i lose a ton uh, if you guys know me i use every single part of my equipment to get the most out of my lifting which is why like I don't look that physically like like uh, intimidating, but I have benched, uh, you know, 210 kilos multiple times in competition. I benched over 440, uh, you know, almost 10 times in a meet. Um, you know, over 450, you know, half as many times as that, like a ton of times. Like I've my bench is, you know, it's one of my best lifts. Uh, I do have kind of short arms, um, but you know, my arch is is decent. Uh, I just don't just when I'm on my chest with the bar, my elbow uh, is still kind of bent, even at max grip, so it doesn't feel good for me to kind of hold the weight there. I feel like I'm burning myself out. I'm taxing my, uh, myself. Now, when you sink, you don't want to uh, just get loose. That's like a big thing that I see with people that try to do it. They kind of just get loose. They lose their tightness in their chest or the air in their chest and the bar kind of just rolls down towards their belly button and then you end up fucking everything up. You just lose all your composure. Um, what I like to do is literally, you know, let's say I'm in a meet and I'm benching my third attempt, right? I get the hand out. I squeeze the bar as hard as I possibly can. I'm flexing my abs. I take a big breath. I, every muscle in my body, so my hips, my back, er, legs, Everything is tense, everything, upper back especially. Uh, and then I'm lowering that bar down onto my chest in a controlled way, sinking that bar into my chest until it won't sink anymore. So your ribs are gonna press up against the bar to the point where they won't bend anymore and that's where you're gonna wanna hold it. I'm not dropping the weight down, I'm just doing it you know, under control. This coils me up and I get a lot of tension, right? Then I get that press command and I literally just fire off my chest, uh, you know, lock the weight out. And I'm good to go. Um, I remember at Bench Press Nationals in 2016, uh, my buddy Alberto Nunez was in the crowd and he was watching, uh, and he said that it looked like I was gonna get stapled. Uh, you know, when I press the weight off my chest, because I pop up and you hit like a little uh, sticky, and then I it was just like hydraulics like kicked in or something, and you just power through that sticking point. That's because I'm getting a lot of power off my chest with cranking my belt really really tight creating a lot of compression up top uh, you know by my chest uh, and sinking that bar in I'm getting crazy pop off my chest there's no way I could lift anywhere close to what I'm lifting if I didn't have that if I didn't bench this way I'm just not you know I just I'm not strong enough to do it I just I I'd probably my bench would probably be like 410 uh, if I if I didn't bench this way so um, that's what I have found works really, really well for me. Again, if you guys know Sean, he kind of came from sinking, uh, and then we kind of slowly moved his uh, grip out, and and now we have him doing, um, uh, you know, really crazy arch, like minimal range of motion on bench. Uh, he is very, very, very mobile, and he's able to do it. Um, so you know, for powerlifting, that's going to be where he's gonna be most efficient. Fun fact, when he started with me, I believe his first meat bench was like 308 or 303. He tells me this all the time. Whenever he hits something in the gym, he'll be like, when I did my first bench with you, it was like 303 or something like that. And he recently has hit 452 in the gym on competition equipment around like 190-ish body weight. Um, uh, so, you know, phenomenal bench progress over uh, it's been over three years, I believe. So, uh, same weight class, um, 
just and a lot of it is just uh, slowly gaining weight over time, technical mastery, putting as much muscle as we can, and really dialing in that technique. Um, so for him, that works really, really well. For me, I need to sink the bar into my chest. Uh, I hold uh, body fat in my midsection or like in my legs in my midsection, and I'm able to like manipulate that in a way. Um, that lets me get the most out of my bench. You don't need to be like super crazy fat to do it, um, but uh, it does help a ton. And and I found that, you know, between like 275 and 325, it's almost the same difficulty uh, because with 275, uh, I'm not really sinking into my chest because the weight's not that heavy. Um, but when I have more weight on there, so 350, 360, it sinks in more, so I'm getting more of a pop off my chest. Um, so if you guys see the way that I bench, uh, and you say, you know, why do you bench that way or, or how, this and that? Um, that's why I do it. Uh, I'm just trying to lift the most amount of weight possible and getting a ton of work in that way. I will say that um, in the beginning, sinking might be hard on your pecs because you are popping off your chest and then all of a sudden, you know, it's almost like you're benching against a band because that band is going to catch and all that stress is just going to hit you and then you have to fight through that um, I have found that if I can carry my momentum all the way through that sticking point I'm able to get away with much higher weights and not beat myself up nearly as much um, but again that's the way I like to do it uh, you might be one of those people that you know you can't really sink in your chest because you're not lifting that much weight and you don't really have any arch and you're leaner so you know, it's I mean, it's just not gonna feel, it's just not gonna feel good all the way through. But uh, I get a lot of questions on this. I thought this might be something um, you know, like some practical uh, just information that you guys can listen to and play with. Um, uh, but yeah, guys, uh, I posted about a Q and A uh, on my Instagram and Snapchat, and I've gotten already like I already have you know more than enough questions. But I haven't picked them all yet, and some of them are dumb. <laughs> um, but I am going to go through a bunch of them uh, probably tomorrow morning. So if you guys want to jump in on that, uh, just go ahead and go to my Instagram, go to my IG story. It'll be up there for a couple more hours. Um, and Or even if it's gone, just DM me and say, hey, just put like, hey, this is for the Q&A, uh, you know, and ask me anything you want. It could be about lifting, it could be about... Uh, fucking movies, gaming, Pokemon, whatever, whatever the hell you guys want want to talk about, uh, go ahead and ask that there. You could even respond to me on Snapchat. Either one is fine. Um, I think it will be a nice little end of the year, fun little thing to do. Also, I have a coach's corner uh, coming up. I already, you know, chopped it up and put everything together. I just need to do the audio now. Um, so, got a couple things lined up for the channel. Um, other than that, thank you guys so much for listening. If you found this video informative, go ahead and drop a like. Let me get a hashtag. Let me get a hashtag, um, sync or soft touch, sync or soft touch. So you could put sync, you could put sync boys, you could put, you know, thick boys, whatever you want to do, because usually thick boys are the ones that sink into their chest, or you could put hashtag kiss my arch. Boom. There you go. <laughs> Shout out to Sean. Anyway, alrighty guys, I'm rambling now. I'm going to go do some light benching. Thank you so much for listening. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.